You know, I've been paying attention to all this Diddy, all these Diddy, um, Diddy allegations that's been happening recently. Diddy, Puff Daddy, um, Brother Love, P. Diddy, what, whatever you decide to call him. And you know, it's a pretty interesting topic going on and every the question that everybody asking is did he do it I guess it's a play on words and the only thing that I can really think of after seeing everything that's going on is who did Diddy piss off I feel like whenever things like this start coming out and coming out at this level I feel like they made the wrong person mad. You know, a lot of people feel like once he sued that big liquor company, that's when everything really start hitting the fan. Now we've been hearing allegations about Diddy for as long as we can remember. Like if it wasn't one thing, it was another, but that's all that it was, was allegations. And then Cassie put the um, lawsuit on him and that lawsuit was settled very, very quickly. Although they are saying that it wasn't Diddy himself who settled that lawsuit. It was his companies that settled that lawsuit. The interesting thing about it is, did he do it? All this stuff is happening with Diddy and Redder. If you believe the allegations or you don't believe the allegations, something's going on. To the point where even his son, his son Christian, has is now being charged with um, S.A. So it says Diddy Combs and his 26-year-old son Christian King Combs are named as defendants in a new lawsuit that alleges the music mogul son, S.A., a woman on a yacht in December 22nd. It says Kristen is accused of assault, battery, S.A., an intentional infliction of emotional distress, according to the complaint filed on April 4th, entertained by Rolling Stone. It says Sean Combs is named in the lawsuit since he charted um, the luxury yacht, the luxury yacht where the assault was said to occur. So they basically said, listen, your son assaulted me. And since this was your yacht, I'm going to add you to this lawsuit as well. Then it says this complaint is the first accusation against Christian in a string of recent S.A. lawsuits against his father. The Cones family home in Miami and Los Angeles was also raided as part of a federal sex trafficking investigation in the last week. Sean Cones vehemently denying these allegations and statements issued by his attorney. The latest statement from Sean Combs' legal team described the raids as an unprecedented ambush in a wish hunt. Mm. Something's going on. You know, whether, like I said, whether this is true or if it's just allegations or whatever the case, I'm sure we will find out as this continues to go on. But something's going on. It says the complaint describes an altercation between Christian and 25 year old Grace O. McCurry. What's that, McCurry? The only on duty steward on the yacht. She claimed she was forced to perform oral on Christian after she felt pressured and was forcibly fed a pair of tequila shots. Christian allegedly prevented her from leaving, and she says she quickly suspected the, the tequila was spiked. So she said, not only was I, you know, assaulted, um, they spiked my drink. And then it says that Grace further claims that while Kristen groped and kissed her, Rodney Little Rod Jones, a music producer who also got a lawsuit against Diddy, um, who filed a sep- um, separate sex trafficking lawsuit against Sean Combs in February, was recording the standoff. The lawsuit also includes color photos showing the bruises she acquired from Christian during the altercation. She also says she freed herself from Cone's grip 
when her colleague on board was purposeful looking for her since she had been missing for a long time. She recalls complaining to the ship captain, but says the incident was not investigated. She believes that it's because Sean Combs paid the captain to keep everything under wraps. While working on the yacht for Combs, Grace also claimed Combs accused drug mule Brendan Paul. See, everything going on in this. You got S.A., you got assaults, you got kidnapping, you got drug uh, mules, you got orgies, parties, drugs, just everything going on with this case. It says Brendan Paul once told her he had been forced to watch Combs have sex with multiple women. Paul is the only person who was arrested during the raids of the Combs family homes. He was charged with possession of cocaine and marijuana. Christian and his older brother, Justin Combs, was also detained during the raid on their dad's Los Angeles property, but they was later released. Wow. So this seems like a... See, this is the interesting thing, right? He got raided by um, Homeland Security. Now, he hasn't been arrested yet. Um, I don't even think he's been formal. I don't even think Diddy or his son has been formally charged or indicted at this particular time. I mean, heck, right now, Diddy's riding around the world, riding around Miami and everything on bicycles. He just seems to be living his best life, and he's not. He's coming off as if he's not worried about anything. Now, we also know that that can also be a front, you know, while all this stuff is going on, you know, make it look like you're not bothered by anything. So we don't know. But what we do know is that within the coming weeks, I, w- I would expect that if they found something in his house when they raided his house, I would I would expect for there to be some type of charges within the next few weeks. I would think if they if they found anything. Now, you know, Candace Owens and Suge Knight actually came out and said that the raid wasn't to find anything. They believed that the raid was actually to destroy evidence. And there's also been reports that um, Diddy had a lot of evidence on a lot of powerful people and compromising positions when they be at his Diddy parties. Now, we all done heard about the Diddy parties. Uh, maybe you have to be someone of importance to get invited to a Diddy party. Um, we also heard people say that you can go to a Diddy party, but you you got to leave before the after party. And you definitely got to leave before the after after party. That's going on here. So what I want you to do, I want you to leave a comment below and I want you to do you all these allegations that Diddy and now his son have against him. Do you believe it? Do you believe the allegations or do you think that this is a witch hunt like his lawyer said? And when it comes to these things, you know, none of us um, be knowing these people personally, but if you look online, a lot of people, you know, they give their opinion as if it's fact or give their opinion as if they, you know, know these people personally. And most people already got their mind made up as far as as far as if they think that Diddy or his son is guilty or not. But it is supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. But we also live in a society where you're guilty until proven innocent. And even if you are um, proven innocent, people are still going to say that you're guilty. So we're going to continue to keep an eye on this whole situation. And once more facts come out, and definitely once they start getting some, you know, hard, um, some hardcore evidence, we definitely going to stay on the top of it. And I definitely keep you updated. So you make sure that you go ahead, you hit that like, subscribe button. Also leave a comment. Let me know if you believe that Diddy, if you believe that Diddy did it. Or do you believe Diddy's innocent? Do y'all think, remember when Diddy was going around giving everybody they publishing back? Do y'all think that Diddy was doing that to try to make allies? You think he was doing that because maybe he knew all this stuff was about to go down and maybe he needed people to say some good things about him? I don't know. 
All I know is no matter what's going on in life, the facts remains the same. There's no game but tie game. Y'all take care.